How long ago we took a look at this, the RC 350F Sport All-Wheel Drive. It's a sporty new Lexus coupe aimed at comparable Mercedes, Audi, BMW, Cadillac and Infiniti products and it's got standout styling, a unique and maybe a little over the top interior and proven drive lines and technologies throughout. This one had V6 power all-wheel drive of the F Sport package, adding some visual and content upgrades that make car buffs salivate. I figured this machine a very worthy contender for those after a luxury coupe with fantastic real world comfort, truly standout looks and capability for the road or track if they were so inclined. Here's a car built to be comfortable, luxurious, capable and entertaining to drive in any situation. It's a luxury sports coupe split evenly between luxury and sport. There is another version of the RC available though and instead this one is a luxury sports coupe that's heavy on the sport. Here it is, you're looking at what's currently the highest performing Lexus available. It's called the RCF and you'll notice it looks a bit ticked off. The angry face, the openings and holes and slits and bulges all remind me of the Incredible Hulk that moment before his shirt finally lets go and the muscles come out. RCF looks like it's bursting out of its skin and that's no empty threat. This is a 5 liter V8, no turbocharging, 467 all motor horsepower and a high revving free breathing power curve with a snarl that's meatier than a bag full of baconators. With that rocket thruster of an engine, all the bulges and openings in the RCF skin start to make more sense. High performance airflow and aerodynamics are the name of the game to cool the engine's fluids and to cool the brakes among other things. They're big giant brakes with beefy calipers clamping on slotted sports rotors and that's all surrounded by big and sticky tires. Translation, whether you want to stop fast or get off the line fast, you're back right up. There are those big free breathing vertical exhausts, a suspension designed to help turn in fast lap times and a high performance version of the RC's signature reconfigurable instrument cluster to help you keep an eye on everything. There's even a g-force meter so you can see how much throttle and steering it takes in a high speed corner before your spleen lands on the seat beside you. All units are 8 speed automatic with paddle shift and rear wheel drive which is ideal for skids of course on a closed circuit. While observing all safety regulations and not breaking any laws so please don't send me angry emails. Okay, but let's get something straight. This is not a hardcore track weapon. It is the highest performing hot rod version of the RC family and the underlying characteristic of that RC model range, whether you get this one that's all kind of sauced up or a more standard version, is that it's a machine that's both sporty and exhilarating to varying degrees, as well as a Lexus, meaning it's comfortable, accommodating, and even relaxing to drive. Now for the money, there are more comfortable coupes and more track capable ones too. But what this RCF does is sits nicely in the middle as a versatile product that's going to nicely meet the needs of a wide range of shoppers. It's sort of a multi-purpose, do-it-all luxury performance car. So a bit of a split personality happening here. Put the drive mode dial into normal or eco mode and this big Japanese V8 posh rod cruises with a hint of tautness and a whiff of V8 sound effects, though largely it's quiet, rides with creaminess over smooth roads and barely makes a peep. As angry as the RCF looks, it's actually super tame when you drive it gently. You could grab that special someone and take an hours long road trip and you'd get out feeling refreshed and relaxed if that's your thing. And if your thing is instead performance, face peeling, acceleration, and turning premium unleaded into sound effects, you're in luck too. Turn the dial to Sport or Sport Plus and the RCF gets all hot and bothered. The transmission and engine go hair trigger sensitive, collaborating to get that engine revving as much and as often as possible. Steering stiffens up and gets quicker. The tachometer transforms into a race car readout and the RCF turns from a luxury coupe into a snarling V8 powered go-kart by the literal flick of a dial there are some noises. Oh my goodness, does this thing sound monstrous. The experience of browsing the RCF's gears with your boot to the carpet is not to be missed. The sounds are gloriously meaty and the nearly instant and perfectly rep match gear changes and peaky high revving all motor power curve will make many drivers require a moist outlet. You probably won't hit the track in your RCF, but if you do, a few notes for you. First, the brakes are durable and largely fade free even after many hot laps. The traction control systems feel tuned to work with, not against you. And since they can be shut down in stages, you're easily able to fine tune the level of traction assist against your current skill level or a very wet and rainy track at the iCar circuit. 
I found the RCF entertaining and just that touch frisky and slippery enough to keep a big juvenile grin on my face. It might not be the fastest car for the money around a circuit or the most precise, but I promise if you take yours to a track with half a clue what you're doing, you'll be smiling ear to ear. Don't miss the taut, slightly squirmy, but largely stable dynamic dialed in. This thing feels like a real weapon when you drive it real hard. Other notes, inside the interior is largely the same as the rest of the model range. The seats are more grippy here and look like they came out of a Romulan spaceship. Ditto the high-tech trackpad controller down on the console. Also note that both the seats and door openings are big guy friendly and big guy comfortable, but you might wish you were sitting just a bit lower in the cabin. So let's sum up this snorting, hulking hot rod Lexus, shall we? You will like the standout style, which targets the discreet looking German competition and stands out enormously. Also the ride quality on smooth roads is great, fuel mileage during gentle highway cruising is very reasonable, the Mark Levinson audio system is fantastic, and man oh man, the noise and thrill factor to this powertrain are bang right on. Some shoppers will wish for a bit more headroom, and if you're a big manual transmission fan, you won't find one here. Further, the automatic is really good, but there are smoother and faster paddle shifter transmissions in this segment. This RCF should prove a compelling luxury coupe and a compelling performance coupe, depending on the position of the drive selector dial. Just a flick gets you a comfortable cruise or the most exhilarating closed course performance experience currently available from Lexus. Pricing from around 82. Thanks for watching.